I've got a ribbon and we're gonna play with it. So you know what that means? It's bow time, let's go. Lumarinos, we're gonna start off by making this bow. This has the cutest pink glitter and a plaid in the background, which I love. And this bow is gonna be a funky bow, but we want to pop in a little bit of length and a couple of the tails. So I'm gonna start off here by just trimming this at an angle. Um, that's you know one of my go-tos opposed to just doing the, uh, the dovetail. So instead of eight inches on this, this particular first tail, let's go longer, let's go. That's 20, let's go like 26. So a nice long tail, okay? And I'm gonna put that one in and I'm gonna twist. Now, I'm gonna make my loops big and loopy. So let's go out at uh, seven and I'm gonna twist here. And then we're gonna go on the other side out to seven inches and twist, okay? So we're gonna build this bow up layer by layer. And I wanna make it um, a couple at seven inches on either side. Let's do three. Let's go ahead and do three at seven. Let's make it big and bold. This type of bow, we want to be able to utilize greenery coming out of it and really make a uh, nice springy design and, and let the ribbon be such a focal point in our design. You can use these for wreaths or centerpieces. I've taught both in design school and we've played with both kind of combos. So here, I'm gonna cut those at opposite angles on those tails. And you can see here, I've already got my three loops. So my three loops are here. Do you see how much movement they have and how, oh, see how big they are? You need them like this for this look, okay? So that's a great start. Now I'm gonna put my next layer on. I don't have to go crazy. We're gonna put two on. And I'm just gonna cut the angle to match the angle cut on the other side. I'm marking on the right side right now. And now these will be shorter. These will be about eight inches, okay? I don't need them as long. So eight inch tail come in, we're gonna do two of these at six inches now. So just decreasing that size ever so slightly. Yeah, twist, I love it. Six inches here and go on that other side. All right, twist it. And now I'm gonna have that tail also be eight inches. So I'm gonna cut that at an angle. Super duper cute, I love it. So we've got those two tails kind of coming up the top. I've got my long tails working out here. Beautiful. I really just need to do my finishing touch in the center now. So I'm gonna make this tail about uh, eight also. It doesn't need to be as, as uh, long as that first one we put in. And just one loop in the middle at five inches. We kind of, you always wanna decrease that loop size so you come in towards the center. So super important. Trim this the other way. All right, we got the basics of our bow done. Now let's take it off our bow maker and start to work right on um, the design we wanna do with it while we're fluffing it out, okay? So add some pressure to that. The magic happens when we start to do the fluff. So rotate that around, see how it's still not tight? That's really important, we're gonna keep it nice and loose. And we wanna separate all of our loops so that you get all that good motion. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. Get that loop in the center also popping forward. It needs to kind of ground all the, the motion from the outside to the inside. All right, and once I'm done, I'm gonna put a cable tie in the back because that's how we're gonna attach it to our wreath base when we're all done. So pulling it down super tight, now trim that off. Boom shakalaka. Look at here, isn't that cute? I love it. Now I have to cover the center Y'all, this is so adorable. Look at all the loops. That's what we want. Nice and frilly, full. So now take a cut, a strip of your same ribbon. Um, if you can get it at least 10 inches. If you try to do it shorter, you'll just be fighting it. And you'll say, Klee told me to do it 10 inches and I didn't. And now I'm fighting it. Uh, just keep it longer, 10 to 12 inches. It's just easier. Now I'm going to set it up where there's a little uh, bit of a heart in the middle to add a little detail. Take and flip that over, put a couple knots in. And guess what? Guess what? You've done it. You have done it. You tied an adorable Valentine bow. And we are going to use this on a project. So if you want to see the project it's going in, just ask here in the comments. And we'll send you the link to everything. 
You guys know you can always go over to cleese.com where we've got lots of videos, I mean hundreds of videos on bow making, wreath making, wreath kits. And when you're ready to take your skills to the next level, come join us in design school because I can't wait to teach you every week how to make beautiful pieces just like this. Go have fun with flowers. Bye everybody.